okay, fine, fine, I'll do it. I'll react to the Village Cooking Channel. Let me let me let me get this microphone in shot so you can hear me. So I I just want to be a hundred percent clear here. Typically, I I wouldn't react to this sort of channel, this sort of thing. But is that my phone? Who's texting me? As I was saying, typically I wouldn't react to this sort of thing. It's just not uh, something I typically go to on the internet. But I've had so many people ask me to react to the Village Cooking Channel, to check them out on my Discord, in the comments. I did a live stream uh, recently, and there's a ton of people in there asking me to check them out as well. I'm assuming it's because they get just an absolute mega ton of views. Um, I, I see from even just this, 11 days ago, 4 million views. That's absolutely wild, right? Uh, also, a lot of other people react to them. I know Uncle Rogers reacts to them. I don't watch Uncle Rogers, so... I, I, I don't know much about that. So let's get in here and uh, take a look. So, Village Grandpa cooking traditional village food, country foods, and tasty recipes for foodies, children, villagers, and poor people. Village Cooking Channel entertains you with cooking and sharing food. The Village Cooking Channel, everybody. Ladies and gentlemen, the Village Cooking Channel. They got a very unique style. I can, I can already tell you that. Um, the thumbnails are... <laughs> The thumbnails are a bit wild. They're a bit wild. What is going on? Holy heck. Do you see the amount of views these guys get? Oh my god. Millions. Tens of millions of views. And I think even their most popular is hundreds. Hundreds of millions of views. That's crazy. Now, I actually think it's this video right here, Full Goat Mutton Cooking with Stuffed Biryani, biryani um, is the video that uh, the, the Uncle Rogers recently reacted to. And if I click on it, that, that, is, that, is, a, that, is, that is three dead goats. <laughs> if I click on it, yeah, look, Uncle Rogers video. Uncle Rogers. Uncle Rogers, ladies and gentlemen. So I might as well watch it, right? I might as well. You know what? We got three dead goats here. Yeah, I'm not opposed to seeing dead goats. I actually, fun fact, fun fact, I was actually a butcher uh, for a little while. And being a butcher is actually what turned me vegan um, and then vegetarian. I'm no longer vegan. I'm no longer vegetarian. I, I eat meat now. Uh, but it was such a harrowing experience that I uh, decided to go vegan afterwards and i well actually technically i was a vegan whilst i was still a butcher so that was a weird experience <laughs> uh okay fine you know what you know what since nobody so many people asked i'll react to the village cooking channel i don't really know how i'm gonna do with with this style of reaction but um yeah i guess we'll see we'll see Whoa! So, okay, so tons of energy. He said, good job, Briani. Is that what he said? Okay. See, this is already so much more energy than I put into anything in my entire life. <laughs> Oh my god! I don't know how I'm gonna to react to this. Uh, you know what? I don't. I don't. I probably don't need the th the the captions, right? Probably not. Uh, so they're throwing a bunch of water. They're cleaning it up, flipping the bodies around. Their camera is so good. Wow, they got a they got a good camera. They got a good camera. I will admit. I mean, if you take a look, just take a look at. They got they got a good camera. They got they got a not only do they have a good camera, they have a good eye for uh, cinematography as well. I don't know what that is. Maybe I do need the subtitles. <laughs> uh, so auto translate. Um, I don't know what they're speaking actually. Maybe it just says foreign. <laughs> Well, I don't know if they're speaking... Well, okay, so if we take a look at their surroundings, right? Like, it's 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 a southern... It's a southern state. Okay, so they could be speaking... Uh, what are they speaking? Uh, uh, Kannada? Are they speaking uh, Malayalam? Are they speaking Tamil? 
are they speaking like what what is it what is, is it telugu are they in over in andhra pradesh maybe I, I don't know i don't know okay so they are speaking tamil um oh wow one of them was in the hospital oh man okay well that's never good hopefully they're doing well all right so they're speaking tamil uh which means i can translate it all right, auto-generated English translation from Tamil to English. Let's go. I wonder, I mean, maybe maybe they don't speak too much. They're making some pace. They got some chilies. Okay, pretty cool. Pretty awesome. That is, that is... <laughs> that, uh, you're supposed to be auto-translated. What is going on here? All right, now this is just a frustration. Or no, wait... It, uh, Auto generated English, auto generated, auto translate. Maybe just click on English, and it'll it'll automatically translate. Maybe I don't have to worry about the language that it's that it's that's being spoken. Where's English at? Am I blind? There we go. All right. Yeah. All right. You know whatever. <laughs> <laughs> the translation doesn't work. All right, it's fine. They got chilies. That's pretty cool. Don't know what he's saying. Ground garlic. Some black pepper. Oh, he's just, he is screaming. He's screaming at me. He's screaming at me. Yeah, this is, this seems fine. This is normal. They're just marinating the, uh, they're, they're marinating the meat. Cool. They, they still have their testicles. Interesting. Uh, that's a familiar sound. <laughs> so they're what they're gonna stuff it with 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 rice, right? Because biryani is 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 rice. It's a rice dish, correct? I think so. Hmm. I mean, it seems clean enough. Yeah. If, you know, from a butcher's perspective, it seems fine. Traditionally made coconut oil. That's pretty cool. Homemade ghee. I do. I, I, I am a big fan. I'm a big ghee enjoyer. I do like me some ghee. Is that some all spices? I was going to say there's like some cinnamon there, a little bit of everything. Onion. Cool. Oh, the yelling. It's getting to me. Chil There's that chili paste. Some more of that chili paste. It's probably pretty good. Mint? Oh, I don't know about the mint. I like I like the coriander. I'm, I'm a big fan of cilantro, but mint mixed in with this? That feels like it would, it would throw the balance of the flavor way off. You know? Just It just it doesn't... I don't know. I just don't know about that. To wait, tomato? Isn't tomato from the Americas, like, originally? I thought this was supposed to be traditional. Tasty. Taste is delicious. Oh, it doesn't say anything about being it, it being traditional. Okay. But yeah, tomatoes were originally from the Americas. Crystal salt. Bosomite rice. I mean, I make rice. I, I, I do a little bit of uh, something something when I'm making some rice, you know. Throw a little bit of seasonings in there. Um, a lot of peppers. Looks good. I don't know about that mint though. The mint the mint feels like it's it would be it would throw off the flavor balance. But maybe it gets overpowered by all the seasonings and stuff. So they're gonna take this. It's like par par boiled, par cooked rice. They're throwing it in the carcasses, and then I'm assuming they're probably just gonna like tie them up and and I, I don't I don't I don't even know how you how you how you would cook this in a big pot or well, they could do they could do like a um like a uh, a burying method and cover no, with coals maybe like that, that that might be something that they do yeah they're just sewing it that's fine <laughs> uh okay Interesting. 140 million views is wild. That's crazy. 
Would I eat this? I mean, sure, why not, right? You can't, you can't be opposed to eating meat. If, if, if you live in a society, if you live in a culture where, where meat is, you know, consumed, you can't, you can't be turned away. You have to, you have to look at and see where your food come from. And, uh, you know, I, I'm, <laughs> I made that whole analogy thing earlier where I was like, oh, well, I, the, me being a butcher turned me vegan. Well, yeah, of course it did. I saw the, the true horrors of first hand, but he, you know, uh, it's been what? I, I don't know, eight, eight years since then, and I'm, I'm no longer a vegan. I eat meat still. I'm not opposed to eating meat. I know where my meat comes from. Okay, yeah, they're just putting it in a big old pot, and then what? They're it's like they're uh, steaming it. Actually, it kind of looks like because they put the um, yeah, and then they're just gonna fill the whole bottom with water, maybe. Oh, I mean, there is water in there, but. They're not, that's it. They're not. They're not putting more water in there. Oh wow. That's cool. And how long this is? This is probably in here for what? A few hours, probably. Five, six, seven, eight, nine hours, something like that, probably. Well, I don't know. If they, if they, they don't, they might not want it to overcook. Well, it's, it's go right. Mutton. Yeah. I think I, I I I think I would I would prefer to eat um, mutton fully cooked, not not so raw. Um, like here in the U.S., you know, they we eat basically everything. Um, a little bit of, of 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 you know redness and some some red meat is fine sometimes. I guess it just depends on the food source. Like you want a fully cooked chicken, you never want to eat raw chicken, but like you want to fully cook um, anything wild, right? You want to fully cook pork? Uh, I guess it just comes to like. Well, I don't. I don't. I don't know. I've always just fully cooked everything, except for like you know the occasional you know, well done steak or not not well done like uh, rare steak. You know. How long was that in there? They didn't specify anything. They gave you all the ingredients, but they didn't. Did they, they didn't specify a time, right? I bet some people are put off by this. Some like foreigners out there are put off by the side of this. But like, I, I know where my food comes from. So this doesn't bother me. They, they probably saw the bones of the legs. <laughs> and, it, and, it, and it put them off. Hey, I mean, literally peeling off the bone. This is a little red. That's That's, that's real red. Is that done? No, uh, it's a little. That's a little pink. <laughs> oh, they're oh they're gonna cook it some more. Okay, cool. Or maybe they're making like a broth now out of the uh, the bones. Listen, I don't know. I don't know what that is. Oh. Okay. They're eating with their hands. I don't know if I'm a big the biggest fan of eating with your hands. But I, I think I think that's just a thing in India, actually, because I've I've seen other videos uh, of of them having like dishes on on these um, palm leaves and just eating with their hands. I I I personally wouldn't do it. <laughs> I'd I'd prefer to have um, I don't know a spoon a spoon at least. Man's getting to that bone marrow. Nice. The bone. I have no idea what he's saying. But he's very, he's very excited. That's good that they're eating the bone. The uh, you you need you need collagen, and a good source of collagen is actually bone marrow. So uh, not not enough people eat the bone and the bone marrow. So it's it's good that they actually showed them eating it. You should eat it. Guys. You should you should get collagen. You, uh, you you need to go out there get, get, get you some bone marrow. If you can't, then get you some um, some like collagen powder or something. This is like a, a center for like the elderly, huh? Oh, that's awesome. That's really cool. 
that's so cool that they uh, yeah old age home trust office oh that's great that's that's actually fantastic that's really heartwarming that's um that's really cool i'm glad that they uh they they do it to make cool videos but they also uh <laughs> they also um uh make it for the for the for the family for the elderly that's really great cooking a whole ostrich yeah, I'm good, fam. So yeah, here's the, uh, is this the Uncle Rogers video? I don't know if is this is Uncle Rogers. I think so. Uncle Roger going to... Yeah, this is Uncle Rogers. Eight, two, uh, yeah, eight days ago, two million views. Cool. Well, uh, let's go and actually take a look at some comments. Because that's what I like to do. I like to take a look at the comments. Uh, who's here after Uncle Roger's video? Uh, not me, actually. I, I shouldn't thumb that up because I'm not. Fun fact, most of the people who here are watching this video while lying on bed. How many agree, friends? I'm, I'm not lying on bed. I'm sitting down. The Uncle Roger fans are approaching rapidly. Start preparing. Fun fact, 75% vegetarian, but still watching this video. Fun fact, this is the only cooking channel. We never skipped any part and never missed any videos from first to last second. How many agree? Friends? Friends. Proud to be a vegetarian. I'm a city boy, but this makes me appreciate village life. Wow. Came here from Mr. Roger's video. Vi what? Village life? This is, I don't think this has anything to do with village life. You can eat like this in the city as well. What? <laughs> Where do you think your food comes from? Okay. Uh, came over from Uncle... Okay, so a lot of people come from Uncle Rogers. Let's, let's actually scroll down a little bit and see if we can't get some older comments here. How many people are here who don't know the, the language attendance here? I know the language. It's Tamil. Don't know it? I know it. Um, I can't understand their language, but I love their videos. That's why I'm here now watching. Uh, this is the only cooking channel. Never miss the video. Uh, congratulations on the goatee channel the food was well enjoyed okay grandpa has separate fan base love from andre pradesh oh that's pretty cool you people are very energetic i never skip your videos love you grandpa may god bless you in good health um i don't know what it is you grow up and progress we get the happiness of achievement in life okay your cuisine looks delicious yeah it looked all right i'd eat it uh, Uncle Roger was here, of course. <laughs> of course. I really like this channel. It's really natural. Cameraman skills improving day by day. You know what? I noticed that as well. The, I, I mean, I haven't seen any of their other videos, right? But the camera, the camera, the way he was able to get some angles on a few shots, it's pretty good. You know what? The cinematography, it's all right. It's okay. It's pretty dang good. Uh, what can be more happiness than this? That was delish. Um, good part of the video is they share the food with the needy. Yes, that's a fantastic part of the video. Love from Karnataka. The end part is awesome. Very wholesome. I am from Pakistan. <laughs> this person just has to <laughs> say, I'm from Pakistan. Should I, should I say, I'm from the United States? <laughs> <laughs> uh super congratulations to all the team members understanding enjoying um we have some cyrillic here i always watched you well done good luck to you uh mutton dish for biryani biryani uh whole mutton biryani that's not good well, guys, this may be my last reaction video. Turns out my capture card just died. Well, uh, with that being said, thank you for watching. I hope you all have a good one. Remember to like, subscribe, leave a comment. And um, I would hear, I would traditionally say, uh, tell me a video to react to again. But uh, uh, yeah, <laughs> I'll, I'll try to figure something out. Oh, man. Anyways, take care. Goodbye.